Good afternoon. Welcome to Jim Munley's World of Weather. Clicked on to Long Range Weather Forecast Discussion for January 3rd to the 15th. In, your, in the past, I've talked about the stratospheric warming, and that has taken place now. And in the next few days, uh, the warming will move over the poles. And you can see here's the warming here occurring. And um, there'll be a no, noticeable shift where, like I said, towards the pole, while the polar, the polar vortex is then will split into two lobes, with one over southeast Canada and the, over, the other one over uh, west central Eurasia. The effects of warmer air into the troposphere over the poles typically lags at least two weeks, although the response difference uh, differs from event to event. There's a greater turn towards anomalous warm air over the poles, but the signal is not incredibly strong. Okay, we're going to look at the pier for January 3rd to the 17th. Okay, here we have the third. This is what we're expecting. We have um, a trough here in the west. Ridge here over the east with a subtropical ridge over the Caribbean and off the southeast coast. We also have above normal he heights here over the uh, high latitudes of the North Atlantic. Now we'll go through the pattern and then we come to the seventh. We don't see much change, so the models are good agreement. Um, talking about another thing now, uh, we have a, this is the GFS. Uh, FV3 version, and there's forecast to be a closed low that will produce heavy rain from the lower Mississippi Valley to the central coast, and we're going to look at that right now. Here's our first system, and it moves out, you can see over the northeast. And here's the next one here. And you can tell this is the upper low. Let me show you here. Because here's the cold pool. Here's the 540 line here. And then we go forward into time. You can see it brings heavy rain. And then now this is the GFS. And then the European. This is a GFS. That was the European. This is a GFS. And you can see here's the core of the upper low with the 540 line here over the mountains of the Mid Atlantic. Okay, there might be a change over to snow, possible in the northern edge of the precipitation shield. And then the next wave will approach the Northwest, it'll bring rain and mountain snows while approaching trough over the weekend spreads precipitation to California and eventually into the southwest. And we'll take a look at that. You can see it right here coming in. That's over Friday into Saturday. And notice where the 540 line way up here. And we look at the other model. Okay, and then that system will bring heavy mountain snow as possible for the Sierra Nevadas and the higher terrain of, of Arizona. The period for January 6th to the 10th. A trough is forecast over Alaska and the Eastern Pacific. And we have above normal heights across much of the nation. You see right here, this is GFS. And take a look at the other models. They pretty much show it, uh, show it pretty good. This is the subtropical ridge of the Caribbean. So for this forecast period, I am forecasting above normal temperatures for majority of the nation. And with anomalies of 6 to 12 degrees are possible. And then this doesn't show it as good. Because I think the below normal temperatures will be more widespread here in the West. But you get the idea. So uh, below normal temperatures are forecast for portion of the West with anomalies of 6 degrees below normal for precipitation. Above normal precipitation 
forecast for the West Coast. The probability of occurrence, 35 to 45 percent. And then we have below normal precipitation here, which I don't buy that because I believe in persistence. And you'll see that in the next forecast, but I'm given a low probability of 35 percent. Now we look at the period for January 11th to the 15th. Now the models are good agreement with this, like this is GFS, but it, it shows the whole thing rather flat flow. We have a trough here from Alaska and the East Pacific above normal heights across much of the nation. But this subtropical ridge here over the Caribbean kind of slides to the east. So not much of change. So for this forecast period, forecasting above normal temperatures for the entire nation, and I'm forecasting norms of six to 12 degrees above normal. And for precipitation, I'm calling for above normal precipitation for the West Coast states and most of the area east of the Mississippi River. And the probability of occurrence is 45%. And then I have below normal precipitation for this region here. Probability of occurrence is 35%. So that's the long range weather forecast discussion for January 3rd to the 15th. Thanks for coming to Jim Mullins World Weather and have a happy new year.